Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. We welcome everyone joining us for the celebration of the Mass in person, on Facebook, and YouTube. At this Mass, we pray for the baptism of Ezra Skies Guerrero. In thanksgiving of the 28th wedding anniversary of Carlos and Ana Lorena Perez, and for the health of Star Cuz. Starting today, the back gate at Hedron will only be open for Sunday Mass. Radio Misionera will be serving breakfast and lunch after Sunday Mass. The hymns for this Mass are taken from Glory and Praise, 3rd edition. Please stand. And greet everyone around you with the love of Christ. And let us sing praises to our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and the sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may confirm our hearts and the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and betumen for martyr. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky. And so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. Then the Lord said, If now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there and confuse their language so that one will not understand what another says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Him be 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we are saved. Now hope that sees is not hope. For who hopes for what who sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit. Because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and explained, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him whoever believes in me. He said this in reference to the Spirit, that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no Spirit yet, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon. How are we today? Are we filled with the Spirit? We, are we dressed in red? Absolutely, yes, it looks very nice. So we have to once again say, Happy Easter. All right, that sounds great. Yeah, Happy Easter. So uh, we are at the end of our Easter season, but that doesn't mean we have to not be joyful. It's still a time of joy as, uh, as the students are graduating and summer is here and this wonderful weather is with us. We have to say that God is good all the time. 
Absolutely. And first off, we'd like to remind everyone that we are in the uh, middle of the Memorial Day weekend. And we should thank those who have served and we will remember those who have fallen. We will always remember them. And like to welcome those who have been gone for some time. If you have been gone and you're back, welcome back. And welcome those who are joining us on social media. This weekend, the church celebrates Pentecost. Pentecost is the 50th day after Easter. Pentecost Sunday commemorates the event when the apostles and their companions received the Holy Spirit and it brings the end of the Easter season. Pentecost is known also as the birthday of the church. Happy birthday. The Old Testament period of law has concluded and a new era began. The church age began at Pentecost and will conclude when Christ returns in glory. For the apostles, Pentecost was an experience which changed their characters fundamentally and gave them new strength of faith. At the same time, it created a new Christian community in the sense of fellowship and solidarity. On the day of Pentecost, prophecy was fulfilled, given by both Jesus and John the Baptist concerning the Holy Spirit. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles and disciples, and, uh, and disciples returned to the holy city. It was Sunday, the Sabbath Sunday after resurrection. They all were together praying with much intensity. The Holy Spirit descended upon them. Then there appeared to them tongues of fire which parted and came rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. They gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in their own language. Then how does each of them hear them in his native language? In our first reading from the book of Genesis, we hear the story of the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel is a story of the pride of the people who thought they could build a tower to God. In this way, they could have access to God whenever they wanted. In this way, they could manipulate God. But the process of the building to the human bridge to heaven God came and confused their language. They began to speak different languages. There was no more communication. No more understanding among them, and they could no longer work together. The result was people began to speak different languages and out of being human misunderstanding. They were trying to be in control. They were going to discover God and determine his existence. They forgot that it is God who discovered man. It is God who determines our existence. It is God who speaks first. It is only then that these things came into existence. In thinking that man can build a way to heaven, man is filled with pride. Man tries to be God, and once again, reality is fractured. Relationships are shattered, and destruction, disunion, misunderstanding, along with total breakdown in communication occurs. As a result, Mankind speaks in a different languages and people no longer understand each other. Disorder, misunderstanding, and conflict surrounds sin, mankind. Actually, the two stories are related, but Pentecost is not a repeat of Babel. Pentecost is the reverse of Babel. At Babel, human beings decided to build a tower to God. At Pentecost, it is now God who decides to build a bridge to humans by sending the Holy Spirit. Babel is, was a group of misunderstanding. Pentecost is a chorus of mutual understanding. 
at Pentecost, people of different nationalities came together and understood each other. Pentecost differs from Babel as its result. Babel resulted in crumbling of human family into differences and into different languages. Pentecost brought all people together and reunifies them under our universal family. Brothers and sisters, today is an opportunity to rededicate ourselves to be active and faithful members of this family of God we call church. In the sacrament of confirmation, we were strengthened, made firm in the, in the power of the Holy Spirit. May we seek the Holy Spirit, and may we find the Holy Spirit in our lives. May we find moments in his presence when we receive his gifts, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. May we allow ourselves to be aware of the Holy Spirit at work with us. Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead in order that we might receive God's Holy Spirit and fill us with his presence. Let us all say together, come Holy Spirit and fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fires of your love. Christ of mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Ora pro nobis, Saint Joseph, Ora pro nobis, Saint Therese of Lisieux, Ora pro Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, this child of yours, presented in the church, is about to receive from God his love in new life by water and the Holy Spirit. I'm not seeing you. For your part, you must try to bring him up in the faith so that the divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and they may grow in him day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptismal promises, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which this child will be baptized. And so I ask you and the community of faith, first you stand, right? Do you re reject Satan and all his lies and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Together we say, this is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, parents and godmother, do you wish to baptize Ezra Skies in the faith that we have just professed?
Hail through skies, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain, remain as a member of Christ priest, Christ prophet, and Christ the King unto eternal life. He moves a lot. You may be seated. Where's the book? Ezra Skies has become a new creation and has clothed himself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign of his Christian dignity with his family and friends to help him by word and example, bring it as unstained into eternal life. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning bright, brightly, so that your child enlightened by Christ may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when Jesus comes with all his saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak, grant you that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess it with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father who lives and reigns forever and ever. Well, it's a sign of our welcoming. Let's give him, uh, this baby a big hand. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. I'm going to go back. We now present our prayers and intentions to the Lord for all our needs. Let us pray for the success of our Increase Salvatory campaign and for the donors in our parish whose donations and prayers make possible the life and ministry of San Jose. That we continue to serve with courage and selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for intentions of all celebrating the Mass with us online and for those families who have returned to the church through our commitment program. May they continue to grow together with us in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life, for our parishioners involved in ministry and those in the diaconate program. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for, in thanksgiving of baptism of Exera Skies Guerrero, in thanksgiving of the 28th wedding anniversary of Carlos and Ana Lorenz, Lorena Perez, for the health of Star Cruz. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, hear our prayers and our intentions through Christ our risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. It is now time to process to the altar with our offerings. We invite all of you to please place your offering in your hands. We're gonna see a prayer of dedication to God before you walk down to the altar. Father, we thank you for the many, many, many blessings that you give us. This weekend, especially, thank, we thank you for the blessing of your Holy Spirit in our lives. We thank you for that great helper that makes us holy and acceptable to you. Please accept the offerings that we bring to your altar today and bless them through Christ our Lord. that your holy church has brought to your altar today to every single person that approached your altar today with an offering either financial or spiritual bless them with every blessing that comes from your heart we ask all this through christ our lord that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Holy Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving misery may shine forth for the whole world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just. 
our duty and our salvation always and the reward to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, we unite our voices to the voices of the saints and the angels as we sing the hymn of your praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, then entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, with Joe our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and the sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John Bosco, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Therese of Lisieux, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on all sins, but on the faith of your church, and the graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. My dearest Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Once I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Our Catholic Church is a sanctuary of love, a place where the essence of community thrives. It is here that we embrace the truest meaning of love, love for God and love for one another. So, why do you love your church? I love my parish because I feel welcome. During the religious education class, I learned how to love God, and I also enjoyed the activities and the fun things we do together. One of the things that I truly love about San Jose is that the community is right where it needs to be, and the one thing that I've seen is I've grown, I've grown myself closer to becoming, you know, more a part of, uh, of this community. And especially me being young, I've seen a lot of young people around here that need our help. So one thing that I truly love, another thing that I truly love about San Jose is that, you know, it, it's been rebuilt, and I feel like, you know, it's it's gonna attract a lot of more people. I like my church because it brings me closer to people who love the same things that I do. Within the embrace of our Catholic community, bonds are forged and relationships are nurtured. We celebrate together, we grieve together, and we support one another through life's joys and challenges. In our church, love is not just an abstract concept. It is a living force that guides our actions and unites us as a community. I love coming here just for the community and the church. Around this church, it's always good vibes. And it is always lovely to have people to talk to around this church and getting to know people. Because of all the nice people that are here. So I love my church because it feels like home when I'm here. It is truly through the love that we find strength, solace, and support. Love in our Catholic community extends beyond the church walls we reach out to the marginalized, extending our care and compassion to all. Through the service and selflessness, we truly embody the love of Christ. So, brothers and sisters, let us continue to rebuild our church and community with Rebuild My Church 2.0. Let us pray. May the gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Once a month we uh, pick up a collection that is distributed for the, among the poor. If you would like to contribute to the St. Vincent de Paul, making an effort to reach out to the poorest of the poor in our community, you may drop a collection now. Thank you very much for your mindfulness of the poor in our parish. The season of Easter is coming to a close, and today we celebrate the, ho the Holy Spirit. So when I say that, you chant, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit. Very nice. We always want to welcome uh, the, uh, some of you that are uh, visiting from other parishes or other cities and towns. Do we have visitors here today? I think we do, but okay. Those of you who are not from San Jose, please stand. And let's give him a warm welcome. Very nice, very nice. 
Those of you who are visiting, raise your hand if you follow us on Facebook or YouTube. No one? Okay, well, you're invited to follow us on Facebook and YouTube because we are there all the time. Okay, so we want to thank also um, Carla Nunez Solis for the gift of flowers for this weekend. She's celebrating her 50th birthday, so this is a big birthday for her. So we thank her for the flowers. And if you would like to donate flowers or candles for Sunday Mass, you're always welcome to contact the parish office. This coming weekend, there will be a retreat in English for those who have not yet attended an evangelization retreat. If you have attended an evangelization retreat, would you please raise your hand? One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, so thank you very much. The six, the other 64 are welcome to talk to Joel Perez. He will be giving information if you would like to attend the retreat this coming weekend. The retreat is free of charge for you. They have worked very hard to feed you and give you everything you need to attend that retreat. Also, there is a bereavement breakfast coming up. If you would like to either sponsor this event, contact the parish office. And if you would like to attend, we, we always want to have a head count. So please follow the bulletin for information in that regard. In the middle of June, there will be a workshop for parents and children. This workshop this time will be in Spanish only. If you're bilingual, you're uh, welcome to attend. It is very, very important. It's, it is sponsored by Mission Familia, a ministry that has been with us for several months now. We would like to now bless religious items that you may have. Uh, if you have candles or rosaries that you would like to have blessed, please stand. Okay, our help is in the name of the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for being so good to us, and we ask that you please bless these religious items that we present to you. Bless every uh, member of the community that will pray with these religious items. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Very nice. Last but never least, uh, last week we started this campaign, Rebuild My Church 2.0. And we have said in uh, several ways e online here in, present, in presence uh, here in the church and also in videos what we would like to accomplish with this uh, fundraiser. And we would what we would like to do is to hire a person, a minister to young adults. Now, some of you, many of you have already dropped your cards and sent them, in, sending them online. If you would like to have a card to make a commitment, a pledge card to make a commitment, I'm going to ask that you please raise your hand. Okay, so one person right here. Okay, and what, who, no one else? So thank you, Lucy, for being so brave. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? No one? Okay. Something's going on back there. They'll give it to you, okay? Um, we're supposed to be ready for that. I don't know where everyone is anyway. And uh, the, the pledge card is also available online. So if you would like to uh, fill it out online, you're welcome. Just use the QR code that is on the screen and make sure that you, um, uh, you let us know that, um, Lucy, that you will be uh, um, pledging and that's great. Well, do you uh, do the uh, filling up? Uh, this is what uh, sometimes is um, a misunderstanding, right? This is a pledge that we, this is our Sunday offertory, basically. It's nothing extra. It is just what we are already giving. We just say that we're going to either continue giving or give more, whichever place you are at. It is not a new commitment. It is not, nothing beyond your Sunday pledge, your Sunday offertory. Right? It's basically the same, but it really helps us budget. So if we know that you are planning on continuing to give or giving more, we can plan on things that we want to do. Right? And so it's not like um, other campaigns that you just keep piling up the different donations that you have to give. This is the same Sunday offering that you give every week. And if you would like to let us know that you're going to pledge, that helps us with budgeting, definitely. Okay. Very nice. 
Okay, uh, if you have sent your card online or in the mail, or if you have it here, would you please stand so that I can see who, the, who you are? Okay, very nice. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna invite the families that, are, that have made a pledge to please come forward. Very good, very good. Right, okay. So we have a pledge here. Thank you very much for being so kind, okay. If you have um, donated online and you have made a pledge online, you're welcome to also stand and come forward, okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, let us pray together for the success of our campaign. Father, we thank you for being so good to us and especially for providing for these families so they may also in turn provide for our church. We thank you for the pledges that they have brought here today, the pledges that they have filled up online, the pledges coming in, in today in the next day, in the next few days, and the pledges that have been play, made in the past few days. We thank you especially for providing so many generous hearts in our community and we ask that you continue to um, show in us your love and your generosity that we may in turn show it to the world especially those nearest to us receive these pledges and the pledges that have been placed or made online and we ask this through Christ our Lord amen thank you very much thank you thank you thank you much thank you the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended, go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit. Very nice. Happy Pentecost Sunday, and we'll see you around next time. Regina Celi, letare, alleluia. Quia, quem meru isti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dexit, alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. And may the souls of our faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. I forgot to mention that Joanne is celebrating her quinceañera, so she's celebrating her birthday. Many blessings to you. I hope that you got some cake, that you brought some cake. <laughs> I hope so. Let's give her a big hand. Thank you. God bless you, Joanne.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be ever more thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be ever more thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be ever more 